footy fans, well there we were, up against the Pies and we've lost. Four goal defeat to the reigning Premiers, and not that bad a situation honestly. One Carlton player did kick one goal and four points, and those four points were all posters. But then again, if wishes were fishes, I'd be up to my neck in goldfish poo. We weren't good enough. Beaten by Collingwood, and look, not disgraced. It was a good little grow up for the grand final preview come September. And we've got Collingwood well and truly bluffed with the fact that they think they're better than good enough to beat us. A couple of other handy results for Carlton, of course. North Melbourne managed to roll the Bulldogs. Come out of the blocks that one a little bit after their flogging by Collingwood the week before. And we had Essendon get over Adelaide quite easily. Richmond, well they finished their run of course with Gold Coast stitching them up. And poor old Richmond, look, they've had their moments this year. They've been a lot like us a little bit in the last three or four years. You know, we win a few games, all get a bit excited, then we'd lose. It's that gradual process. Don't write the Tigers off yet. They're finished for 2011, but 2012, 2013, they may be starting to get back into the song there. The Sainters, mighty St Kilda, well, they stitched up the West Coast Eagles and stopped their little run well and truly, which is good for us. Otherwise, we'd be out of the four. But as I've said all year, the season is like that. And the teams aren't that far apart. There isn't much difference. It's just that the good teams can keep winning consistently. And the average teams can win two or three in a trot. And the really poor teams will win one, lose three or four or five. That's how AFL football is. It's the top footballing talent in the country playing in the league. And no matter what the coaching situation is and the experience level of the players is, they are going to get up and they are going to win games. There's not that huge distance between the teams like there used to be. Hence, you don't see 30 goal, 40 goal wins all the time. Well, I can 40 goals, a little bit of excess there. I remember back in the 70s and the 80s, you know, teams losing by 20 goals was very regular. Very rare occurrence now because of strategies that are used by coaches to keep the games even. They know that the teams blow out, they know how to shut down games. And the game of football and the quality of footballing strategy has changed a lot over those years. But anyway, here we are back to 2011. We've got a chance to get ourselves back on a winner's list this week. Up against Essendon. And I really want to nail those Bombers on their little marker last week. With only a two goal victory by Essendon on them. So, who knows? The Crows might even manage to get another four point before the end of the season. <laughs> Not that I really care. All I care about is Essendon and Carlton this week and to see the Blues come in with those four points. Go you Blues! Look into the September sky Watch the balloons they go